You have tried so many optimization on your PC but still getting low FPS, FPS drops and stutters while you gaming. So guys over to the sponsored VTRL claim to fix all this problem with just one tool. And I will give you my real feedback about this tool and how much performance increase I got at the end of this video. So guys make sure to stick with this video till the end if it's your first time here please subscribe, drop a like and let's go straight into over this video. So guys here is our software that is the VTRL optimizer and here we find out over all the tweaks, problem setting of network settings and all the windows cleaning and deep loading settings. And guys for downloading this tool you can check out the link in the description that will take you on the official website of the VTRL and from here you can download the software for free. You will find that all the basic tweaks completely free without paying any penny and if you want to guys upgrade it onto the next level with all the optimization so guys then you have to purchase this application but guys still you can use it completely free. So guys, in the very first step here, we find out this kind of interface where you will find that good afternoon and here is the quick info and your all the hardware information into the home tab. If you just go for this, try out some optimization. So here you will find out around 83 optimization is still not applied on my PC. I have done a lot of optimization on my PC, but still it is showing me 83 optimization is not applied on my PC and guys, that's a lot. Then next you'll find out the clean up your system and remove some startup apps. So guys, let's start over this optimization. So here on the left side you'll find out this tweak section so you need to simply go for this tweaks tab and here you will find that all tweaks main tweaks latency tweak nvidia gpu services and static guys you can manually and individually guys optimize your these settings and guys it is very simple to apply and revert these changes here you will find out this kind of the switch option so guys click here and this will enable the settings on your pc simply guys you have to enable all the settings on your pc for optimizing it so guys simply click here and here you will find out disable the preloading of predict application into ram reduction and usage so guys go for this main option and guys turn on the settings so guys let me just enable all the settings on my pc So guys here I have enabled all the tweaks on my PC this include the basic and most advanced optimization of my windows and I have enabled all the settings on my PC that include the latency, Nvidia, GPU, services and static. Once you have enabled all the settings now guys let's go for the next step and that is the power plan settings and guys here you will find out these three options that is for your desktop laptop and the custom settings so i have a desktop so i will probably go with the first option that is the desktop and this will enable all the settings automatically that include disabling the throttle stop set device to ideal performance enable hardware park state enable turbo boost and all the other optimizations so i have simply enabled all the settings after that simply click on the option that is the set power plan and guys this will create a power plan on your pc simply click on this ok button and guys let's see the power plan that we have just created using this tool so you need to go for your power option simply go for your window search search for power and go for choose a power plan so guys here we got over this vtrl optimized power plan and this will guys help us to getting the more performance according to the developer so guys now let's simply close out of the settings and let's go for our next tweak that is about network tweak so guys go for this option here you'll find that all these tweaks that is the fmb tcp udp security dns and all the settings so guys you need to simply enable all the settings on your pc this will guys probably help you to getting the better ping better network settings and better internet speed so guys simply enable all the settings one by one by turning on the switch and guys the best function that i find out in the software that is guys you can easily revert or turn off the settings back to the normal whenever you want to do it so guys you can simply turn off the switch back to the normal settings and that will guys revert your settings let me just real quick enable all the settings. So guys here I have enabled all these network tweaks on my PC and just leave the security one because I think this can cause some problem with your uh, PC so therefore I have not enabled the settings of the security network on my PC. But I have enabled all the other ones. Now let's go for the next option that is the network script and here you will find out optimize and IC settings and optimize network buffer bloat settings. So guys we have already done this network tweak settings so I am leaving this network script option. So guys now let's go for the next option that is about the windows cleanup, debloat and the startup application. 
So guys, let's start with the first option that is the cleaner. Inside you will find that all the settings that will guys clean your Windows registry, your Explorer history, log and cache, recent activity, and all the junk stuff that is available on your PC. So you need to simply select and turn on all this option from here and click on the run cleanup option and guys this will start running this application on your PC. So guys here we have completely clean our junk file from our PC and it's take around 30 seconds. Now let's go for the next option that is the deep load and inside you will find that all the application that is installed on your PC and this is also your personal preference if you want to so guys uninstall this application from your windows. I'm not personally doing it so you can also leave it. Next here you will find our startup application that is guys every time startup when I launch my PC that includes this Microsoft Edge which I am not using so I am going to disable it from here. The next here I find out the settings that is the OneDrive I also not want to use it so guys I have already disabled the startup application of the OneDrive and the Microsoft on my PC. So guys now after applying all the settings and before restarting our PC let me just show you the processes that is running on our PC right now so let me just go into the, into the task manager that and here go into the performance and here you will find out the processes that is currently running on your pc so well let me just simply one time restart your pc and then we are going to test over fortnite so guys, before restarting my PC, 177 processes were running in my background, but now only 134 processes is running currently on my PC after doing the VTR and optimization. So guys, now let's jump into our Fortnite and let's see the performance before and after these tweaks. 